I came all the way from Charlottesville just to make you laugh. He runs the Dirty Jokes open mic up in Seaville. Uh, please give a warm welcome for Mr. Joe Shank. What up, McCormick's? Hey. I love you guys, man. I'm glad to be back here. I deposited a check yesterday, and they told me that prior to depositing this check, my account balance was negative $15. I did not know that that was a thing. Uh, I did not know you could have a negative balance, but it turns out you can. Uh, which mathematically I get negative numbers. Like if I have negative 15 and you give me 30, I have positive 15, I get that. But if I have negative $15 in my bank account and you give me $30, turns out the ABC store will let me get $30 worth of liquor. Uh, which is probably why I have negative in the first place. I, uh, I told my boss that I'm doing this comedy thing, I'm doing stand up all the time. Hi, how you doing? I'm Joe. Hi. Thanks for coming. Sorry. I told my boss, nah, don't apologize. I told my boss that I'm doing comedy. And, uh, and he, he goes, oh, oh, you're a comedian now. Oh, well, uh, you know you're going to have to develop a coke habit. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out that was an unfunded mandate. <laughs> All the side majors in the house. I was wondering, I didn't know if people knew what that was. So that's awesome. Uh, I saw on Yahoo, or MSN, whatever my homepage is, I saw that there was this British chick, 17-year-old girl, who passed out in public. Uh, and the reason she passed out is that all she's ever had to eat her entire life is McNuggets from McDonald's. Like, she had them when she was three, she was like, these things are fucking awesome, I'm gonna eat them for the rest of my life. <laughs> Most people look at that and say, this is why you need to have a balanced diet. I look at that and say, she lived to 17 eating McNuggets, all right? I eat Taco Bell all the time, they put lettuce in their shit, all right? Like, I occasionally put juicy juice in my vodka, I'm actually gonna live till I'm 40. This is wonderful news. I, I'm gonna have to start saving money. I should have done those backwards. I didn't really plan this. You're getting sort of off top today. So, uh... I wish I was better at dirty talk. I got love sex, and you know, I'm not terrible at it, I don't want to ruin my chances. But uh, I wish I was better at talking dirty. What I've noticed is that I'm really bad at talking dirty in the bedroom, but anywhere else I'm really good at talking shit. Uh, and I figured the skill would transfer over, but it turns out that is a terrible idea. Because when you're playing beer pong, you can say shit like, oh, my sister's better than that. That does not translate to the bedroom. Uh, keep that separate. I'm working on that. I, there's, the setup's good. I'll get to the punchline later. I'll figure that one out. My, uh, I love it when my friends, <laughs> they try to help me. They, uh, they, they'll see a girl and they'll say something like, Hey, hey Joe, see that girl over there? She's really into black guys. That means one of two things. Actually, what it really usually means is that they got rejected. Because uh, my friends are white, and they assume that, like, oh, she doesn't want me, she wants to be in the black guy. But what it, what, it, what it usually means is one of two things. She wants to fuck a rapper, or she wants to fuck a guy with a huge cock. And it, it pains me to admit it to you people who I'll never see for the rest of my life. But uh, I am 0 for 2 in those qualifications. <laughs> Fucking sucks. Thank you. <laughs> the best part is... My, room, my house has uh, two black guys and a white guy. Guess who has the goddamn magnums? Stereotypes are bullshit. <laughs> it sucks, man. Like the worst, the worst part is like I have in Ohio State they give you 50 condoms for five bucks, so I brought home like hundreds of condoms. And on the first day when we moved in, I was like, look, man, if you ever need condoms, you can go in the store and use them. And he had to be like, oh, no thanks, because there's no way to say like my huge cock won't fit in your small condoms. Like, if you say that on day one, that's a fight. Maybe after we've lived together for a while, but like, that's, I will punch you right in your face for that joke. That's my time, guys. Thanks a lot. Joe Shea, everybody! Yeah.
Uh, your next com oh, by the way, before I bring on your next comic, uh, I just want to replug this because I know there's a lot of new people here tonight. Uh, on that second uh, pole over there, we got a green bucket, and there's empty slips of paper next to it. What you do is you fill out your name, email address, whatever, and you put it in because we're going to do some drawings for the Funny Bone tonight. We're going to do someone probably soon. And uh, by the way, there's also an email list next to that. Sign up for that so you can get updates and whatnot about that, but uh, with all that being said, are you ready for your next comedian? <laughs> Shit yeah, girl! Your next comedian, really funny dude, he was at the Richmond Funny Boat last night performing in the Clash of the Comics. Please give it up for Israel! Yes! Let him hear it. Your next comedian, this is his first time here at McCormick's Irish Pub. I'm very glad he made it out tonight. Please give it up for Jacreep! Hello, everybody. Um, look, I just assumed that uh, nobody wants anything to do with me because my name is Decrete. But, I mean, we'll get through this. This is a microphone, that's a chair, and I'm with Decrete, okay? So, this is a typical conversation um, in a bar between me and a girl. Believe it or not, you talk to girls when I'm drunk. Um, so, hi, I'm Decrete. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Are you even old enough to be here? <laughs> Next girl. Hi, nice to meet you. What's your name? Sarah? Sarah, I'm Jacrete, nice to meet you. Um, Jacrete? Yeah. How do you spell that? J-A-K-R-I-T. It looks like Jacrete, but it's pronounced Jacrete. Do you have a nickname? Do you have a brain? Um, so I'm 22, um, and my, most of my friends are 22, or around that area, and uh, they always do this thing where they're like, uh, I'm so old, I'm 22, I'm 23, I'm getting so old, and then we're uh, walking to my car, and then they do this thing where they're like, shotgun, shotgun, no plants, and I'm like, alright, everybody, calm down, you old timers. Single file line. I call, not middle, because that's for bitches. <laughs> and I ain't no bitch. Uh, so, my internet went out a couple, a couple of days ago. Um, it's pretty inconvenient. But that didn't stop me from accessing internet pornography. <laughs> the all new. Verizon, Samsung, Nexus, Galaxy, 4G, LTE. But coverage so far is so large, you can jerk off into the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this joke is very uh, 2012, and I wanted to do something that was also a part of our time, so I'm going to do a dubstep remix of this joke. So my internet went out a couple days ago, which is pretty inconvenient. But that didn't stop me from accessing internet pornography. Jerk off to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> That's my time. Decreed, everybody. Let him hear it. Hello, Simone. How are you tonight? It is lovely to see you. Uh, guys, your next comedian. Um, I like this guy. Bit of a wild card. Uh, you'll probably see what that means in a second. Uh, please give it up for the very funny Landon Flanagan. All my convicted sex offenders, throw your hands up! <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. <laughs> How the fuck does this work? Alright, first of all, let me be the first to say 
fuck some Black History Month. On some real shit, I was born in Ethiopia, I ain't got a goddamn thing in common with y'all. Firstly, we built crooked ass pyramids and invented algebra. I don't give a goddamn, or a motherfuck, or a rat's ass about a stoplight, some goddamn peanut butter, or a motherfucking cotton gin. And I know you didn't make the cotton gin, but you used the cotton gin. Don't associate me with that shit. On a lighter note, I believe that these elections can be solved with a simple Street Fighter Alpha 3-esque tournament. Now, we all, we, we, we could consider Herman Cain Ryu or Orkan, either way, what the fuck ever. Listen, Herman Cain breaks out this motherfucker and like runs at Obama, right? Spins around in a circle, Herman Cain kick! <laughs> Ryukin! Fuck that noise. In any event, like, I've been having some real issues recently, and, 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 and these issues have been with the guy that sleeps on my fucking couch. Alright, I need to stay in a place for two weeks until I get on my feet does not mean I'm gonna live with you for five months, eat your food, and then fucking complain when I play Swedish death metal at 9 a.m. If you don't want to hear the death metal, suck my dick! And if you don't want to suck my dick, the invitation is fucking welcome. You know, why don't you get a job? Y'all have a good fucking night. <laughs> Landon Flanagan, everybody! I fucking told you so! <laughs> Don't act like you're surprised. Um, guys, like I said, we're gonna be doing drawings tonight for the Funny Bone, and you know what? What the fuck? Why don't we do it right now? Why don't we do one of them right now? This won't be the only one. We're gonna do a number of them, so if you haven't filled out the paper and put it in the green bucket that I have in my hand that you can't touch right now because I'm up here, uh, maybe you should do that. Uh, so your first winner of the evening, keep in mind we're gonna do a few more of these. Your first winner of the evening, oh, shit. Sabrina Stanley! Woo! Shit, yeah, girl, that's my old roommate. Uh, do you wanna come up and get your tickets? Sure. All right. <laughs> there you go. She's my roommate. No, no, not gross. That's love right there. That's that her and I go way back. That's my buddy. And then, like that was not rigged, by the way. You can think what you want. Doesn't mean it's fucking rigged. Anyway, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for sticking around. By the way, you guys having fun so far? <laughs> All right, your next guy, this is one of my favorites. Uh, you're gonna love him, like, goddamn it, we all love this guy here. Please give it up for the lovely, the very cuddly, David C. Wingfield! <laughs>